everyone. I'm Christine D'Alessandro, head of the Lower School at Stewart, and I'm here with Ms. Eckernoff, um, who is our kindergarten teacher. And welcome to Conversations with Christine, which we are hoping to provide daily parenting, um, excuse me, weekly parenting tips to families about child development and um, just some things that we see at school that we think would be helpful for parents. So this week's tip is really refrain from giving children um, rewards. Uh, external rewards, buying gifts, treats, things like that. And I know it was basically based on something historically that was um, that was said to be a good thing, but we're here to say we'd like you to rethink that. I'd like to uh, share a quote by El uh, Alfie Cohen. He, he talks about how uh, external motivators do not alter emotional or cognitive commitments that underline behavior, at least not in a desirable direction, a child promised a treat for learning or acting responsibly has been given every reason to stop doing something when there is a reward, but won't do it in the long term if there is no reward. So, Ms. Eckernoff, can you talk a little bit about your thoughts about this? Sure. Um, well, this is a whole area of education called educational psychology. Um, and so it is actually very complex. Uh, when it comes to rewards and praise. So what they find in, Alfie Cohen writes about this, he's a wonderful writer. Um, what they find is that external rewards over time uh, decrease that motivation. They decrease, the child essentially becomes, does, starts doing it for the reward rather than just for the love of math, reading, uh, or whatever. Task or skill. It right. almost desensitizes them to yes. the original thing. Exactly. So it becomes about the cookie rather than about learning to read or I don't, you know, mm -hmm. pick pick anything that you're trying to get them to do. Yeah. So let's just talk about the natural progression of things. So children develop naturally. Um, it's our job to create an environment and give them lots of opportunities to tap into those skills that they need to acquire as they grow and concepts. And normally what we find, and we parents will often say a few things to us like, oh, I can't get her out of the door, out in the morning, or um, we have difficulty going from one thing to another. And usually that is based on the fact that a child either conceptually does not, cannot make the connection yet, which is appropriate. And um, at times, you know, based on what you're asking them to do. And also they just don't have the skill development yet. And so, our, our um, message is to just provide more time, you know, provide opportunities for that. And um, what are your thoughts on that, Ms. Eckernot? Well, I love how you say time and space. The child needs time and space to do things. And if they're not ready, you know, acknowledge that. It doesn't mean that they're bad or they don't know things. Mm -hmm. it or means... they're doing it purposely to not want to do it. That's right. Yeah. It just means they're not, they're not doing that yet. And that's okay. They're five, they're little, they're, you know, they're whatever age they are. It's a process and a progression. And so scaffolding can really help in that area. What do you do it um, to help your children go through transitions? So you scaffold things, you break up things and make them smaller chunks for children to be able to, I don't want to say master it, but to get better at that thing and then move on to the next So kind of like if you got a big barbecue grill, you get the directions out and you have step one, two, and three. That's and it. so as a parent or, and here at school, you might give your give three steps That's to move right. either from a transition or to accomplish a task. That's right. And children feel good at doing things. They, they feel happy. Look right. what I can do. Right. Look what I can do. Right. And that is the motivation right. that you're looking for, internal motivation internal motivation that comes from just doing something because it's natural that they want to learn that it's natural that they want to experience things they don't need toys stickers food candy whatever to accomplish these